me, we have not met, right? We have not. I mean, um, we actually had an encounter once. I don't know if you remember. No, I don't. My <laughs> Tell me about it. I went to UCLA, and it was my first uh, year down there, and my parents were moving me into the dorms, and we wanted to go somewhere, you know, Beverly Hills-ish. So we went to a cafe, and we had parked, and we were walking down the street, me and my mom, and we walked by a newsstand, and you were about as close as we are now, and my mom goes, oh my god, it's Ellen! <laughs> and I was like, I pulled her aside immediately, and I was like, mom, you can't say that. She's like, please, please just let me go. Ask Ellen for an autograph. It's my favorite show. I love her so much. I was like, mom, I want to be a real actress. Like, you can't do that to other <laughs> actors. And she was like, well, you know, we'll know you make it someday when you're on Ellen. And now I'm here, so oh. I'm so excited. Oh. And your mom's here? She's here. Yes. She's in the Where's audience. Mom? She's over there. You could have, I, maybe I remember that now. Maybe. <laughs> She's I think, horrified I just told this story. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm so happy to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet and you. your daughter has made it, but even before she was here. I mean, the show's a hit, right? Thank you. Yeah, yes, it's doing it's very, so very well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're kind of neighbors. I actually don't get out that much. I'm usually in my office or here rehearsing, but uh, you're like a uh, Right up the road. Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of crazy being on this lot. I, I, I sometimes just walk outside and run my lines just to see who I can run into. Oh, oh really? <laughs> yeah. The and other, who do you run into? The other day I was walking um, by the Shameless set and there's like a really small alleyway and I really was running my lines and I heard a ukulele coming from somewhere and I turn around and it was just me and William H. Macy and he was playing his ukulele and I was like, oh my God, is this going to be awkward when I walk by? Like, what's he going to say? He just kept singing. He was ser serenading me with his ukulele. Wow. Um, that was pretty cool. That's very cool. I need to walk around more. I, I didn't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. And you've been acting a long time, right? I have. I have. I, I've wanted to do it since I was like three or four years old. I watched The Sound of Music over and over again. And reenacted it in my parents' living room, and I think they were like, hmm, something's wrong with this one. We've got to put her in theater school or something. And they took me to a summer camp. I think the first thing, it was like a, a Romeo and Juliet kids version. I played Romeo's mom. <laughs> and I couldn't read, and so my mom had to tell me the lines. And the only thing I really remember is Romeo peeing his pants. Um, like, it was such a big deal. We were all on stage, and it was like, Romeo just peed his pants, and we're five years old. What are we going to do? And I think I just kept going. Like, <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's what you do. Yeah. That when Romeo peed. <laughs> yeah, that's, that happens on stage. Um, I want to talk about this little uh, dog that you tweeted out a picture of. It's the cutest dog I've ever seen in my life. I mean, Yorkies, are, it's a Yorkie, right? It's a Yorkie. All right, let's. How old is this little thing? That's Betty. She's only five months old. She's the love of my life. Betty. Betty. That's my mama's name. <gasps> Betty. Oh, that's so cute. So you, <laughs> and she's, so she's five months old now. How long have you had her? I've had her uh, since she was about three and a half months. Oh, so, so just brand it's, new. It's brand new, but I've always loved dogs. We've had yeah. dogs growing up. Do you bring up her to the set every day with you? I do bring her to the set. I have all of her toys and stuff in my dressing room, and security knows now. They like wave at Betty when oh. I come through the gate and stuff. They're not really uh, easily housebroken, those little tiny dogs. Is she housebroken? Um, no. No, not no. quite. I, I mean, she, she has a little puppy pad she goes on, but uh, yeah. we're still getting there. But You're she's not... so cute, you forgive everything. Yeah, you well, know? And, you, uh, and you tweeted out also, there's, you have a problem with high-end sweatpants. What is this? Well, I just, I, I love sweatpants. That's like the real Beth. If I could wear sweatpants every day, I, sure. I would. Uh, but uh, I just, you know, anything over $30 to me is high-end, and I was looking online at all these different, you know, trying to get some new sweatpants, and I was like, these high-end sweatpants, wow, like, they're so expensive, and everyone was tweeting, like, high-end sweatpants, what does that mean back at me? And I was like, well, you know, over $30, that's what I meant, that's, that's high-end, you know, uh -huh. for sweatpants, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no? Well, yes, I guess it is. It just depends. I mean, someone, you know, who is working on, you know, a, a hit television show, I don't think over $30 should break you, you know? <laughs> You're not really a broke girl. It's just the name of the show. But I was. I was. Yeah, I understand. And it's good to have that mentality. That mentality That's yeah. good. Um, so we got you these because you love sweatpants and you're not going to spend the money yourself. So we took our sweatpants from here and oh. uh, we gave you oh these. <gasps> these are high end. They are high end. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So they say high, high end, end sweatpants. High end sweatpants. <laughs> I got something for your mom. Oh. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Ellen. Oh my God, that's you're so welcome. nice. Quite an entrance. Guys. Yep. That quite was an my entrance. last dance, maybe. 
Maybe. On the show. I'm so sad. Yeah. That was... I tried some new moves. So I had a prop. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it, they were new moves. They were brand new. And, and there was a lot of moves in there. Thank you so much for that entrance. I, I enjoyed You're it. You're welcome. Yeah. I uh, missed you. Well, I missed you. I haven't seen you in a long time. I know. I, in, in Christmas must have been a very special time for you because it's, it's Christmas and then the day after is your birthday. Right. Jesus steals all my thunder. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I know. That is hard. That is tough. Yeah. 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 What did you want for your birthday or Christmas? What'd you get? Well, all I really want, but my husband won't buy it for me, is a cowbell. <laughs> because I feel like it's that perfect party trick, right? Like if we're having wine and like a nice charcuterie cheese board or something, and then you, you know, that conversation's kind of lame, but if you pull out a cowbell and start playing, like everyone's gonna laugh. Like where'd she get that cowbell? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Also, I can't play anything else. Yeah. I have so many amazing musician friends, but I know I can go bonk, 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 yeah. you know? I like the cowbell. Do I, you? Yeah, I really do like a cowbell. But uh, why won't he buy that for you? Because it seems like an uh, inexpensive and uh, simple thing. It's not like- Because he lives with me. Yeah, but it's, <laughs> it's not drums. It's just like a cowbell. It is just, yeah, I don't know. He just said no. He likes silence, and I don't give him a lot of that at home. I see. He said all he, want, all he wanted for Christmas was for me to stop talking, and that's not a joke. He said that last night. Oh, wow. And I was like, that's not romantic. No, but... no, it's, it's the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> And, but but y'all bake together, right? Well, I do a lot of the baking. It, Are you a good baker? It tastes amazing. It looks terrible. <laughs> it's cute, right? I, I, I love baking because it's very zen. I put on a good album with some cowbell, maybe. No, and, and uh, it tastes delicious, but it looks terrible. We just made gingerbread cookies the other night, my first attempt. Tasted mm. terrible. Oh. I DM, I have this like list of celebrity bakers I DM. Blake Lively is like my go-to when something goes wrong. And I just ask her why it didn't taste good, and she always has an answer. Well, She's like the best baker. Well, then why, di why didn't, what was the answer that yours didn't taste good? Well, there's some secret ingredients. I don't know if she would want me to share. Oh, okay, well, let's like not do that. Like a certain kind of butter you can use, uh -huh. a dash of a secret thing that gives it a kick. I see. But it was delicious. But now you remade them and they were delicious. They were delicious. It just oh. doesn't look good. I see. We tried, we did like succession inspired gingerbread men. Uh -huh. Well, I did. I was like, I'm very into Kendall Roy, you know, the whole succession thing. Yeah. Everyone's like, who? Um, but I, yeah. And my husband did it with me, but he's 12 years old, and so his men um, are not appropriate to show on daytime television. Oh. <laughs> but at least he's baking with you, though. That's, that's, a, that's a cute thing to do together as a couple. Right. And can you imagine how much I talk when we're baking? I mean, it's yeah. just gone. Or singing. Yeah. I had on West Side Story the other night just singing. Oh. He's like, who, it's, you're a lot. Yeah. Well, he, he didn't know that before he married you. I guess not. Well, surprise. <laughs> it's only been 12 years, honey. Yeah. <laughs> hey, are, I, I'm really impressed with this. You're doing a cold plunge every, is it every day? Not every day, I wish. I don't live as close to the ocean as, as I, I would like. But yeah, I, I've i been pretty open about like having really bad panic attacks and anxiety. And those got super, super bad during the pandemic. And yeah. none of my like bag of tricks were working really. And so it was like, 40 degrees in the morning at 6 a.m. and I just like drove to the beach, nobody was there, and I started cold plunging in the winter and it changed my life, no joke. Like, I like, there's actually a video, I don't know if you guys have it, but one, one time recently I went, I posted this on Instagram and I didn't have my phone with me in the, in the ocean when it happened, but a pool of dolphins came and swam with me and I was like oh tearing up and it was magical. But then I like ran to get my phone and then by the time I got back in the water with my phone. It's incredible cold plunge. And there were dolphins. I was so me. happy. It was amazing. Oh, it made it so much easier. And then I got and hit by a And freezing, but wonderful. That's Game amazing. Yeah. Yay. Those are such a good entertainer on the neighborhood. He like loves my Instagram because he thinks it's like the funniest Instagram, but I'm not trying to be funny, but he's, he saw that and he was like, that is the whitest video I've ever seen. <laughs> like, he's like, who goes in the freezing cold before work at 6 a.m. and is like, dolphins in the heavens! Like, he's just, but, he thinks I'm hilarious. But they, but seriously, cold plunge, it, it is supposed to be, because we had Wim Hof on. Oh, big fan. Yeah. That's and, why I heard about it. Yeah, th that's what he, he suggests, and it, it, it cures all kinds of diseases. And so what I do is just cold showers, like ice cold yeah. showers, because... Nope. That'll do it, and then so you can adjust as, and as long as you can take it, just like really cold showers. That's good, but I mean, there's no dolphins. No, it's there's no here. dolphins, but I, I, I'm not gonna drive to the ocean. Plus, I don't wanna get in the ocean. I think I, that, yeah. that's even, 
I don't I know. I like the smell when I drive home and I feel like a surfer, cool. Like, oh. cause the only people there that early are like the surfer and they're like, wow. Oh, like they would always be like, you cold plunge. Like, and I felt like I got like, you know, points. Yeah, well, <laughs> you do. You get more points than me being in the shower. Um, this is your 20th uh, time here. And we have had a lot of fun, and I just, I, I love having you here all the time. I just wanted to acknowledge that. Thank you, I'm so happy. I can't believe this is my 20th time. Also your crew, everybody, Andy, Mary, thank you so much. You guys have become a part of my family. You had my mom on in the very beginning. I really feel, first of all, more people recognize me from the Ellen show than from Two Broke Girls in the Neighborhood. Like, I have people that come up to me on the street, and I just can't thank everyone here enough for, and Ellen, Thanks. Well, for being amazing. And I wanted to give you something as a gift okay. to say goodbye. So as some of you know, I, I twerk a lot on live television. Did it at the Emmys this year. Done it multiple times here. And um, I'm gonna retire from twerking on live television as your gift. Okay. Um, uh, well, there you are upside down twerking. I remember oh, that. That was one of my first times twerking here. Yeah. Oh, yep, maybe, oh, there's another one. Yep. yep, there we go. Yep. Well, it was my last dance and it's my last twerk. My husband's so happy about this too. He's right. so happy I'm retiring. Well, thank you for that. Thank Thanks. you for bringing us your twerks. Okay. One last time. All right. All right. We'll be back.